Hello YouTube. Um, so I finally wanted to come on here and make a video. This is going to be hell. Um, you know, I, I want to address all of these rumors, all of these accusations, and what people think I did do, what people think I didn't do. Um, you know, everyone's wondering why I've stayed off social media. And the reason why is because the past two months has been hell. And all the hate messages and the bashing, when none of you even know who I am. And um, I've always been there for Trisha Paytas from day one. I've been there through everything, all the ups and downs, all of the drama and crap, all of the ups and downs with blasting our relationship online. And, you know, I am not gonna come on here. I'm not gonna come on YouTube and bash Trisha and belittle her because that's not who I am. I love people and I love everybody for who they are. If they have a good heart, if they are a good individual, and those are people I want to be around. And so if any of you watching this is expecting me to do that to her, I'm not going to do that. No matter how far this has gone, no matter how far she has taken this, um, I would never do that to anybody. I don't care how bad it was done to me. But you know, I am friends with everybody. I love everybody. I don't judge people for who they are, what they do. If they have a good heart, they have a good heart. And it just upsets me that for somebody that cared and cared about so much and that I loved could go along with all this bullshit that is being talked and being said. I, as you all can see from my videos, I love to have fun. I love to dance and I love to have a damn good time. And me and Trisha have been out to every type of situation you can think of. Gay clubs, straight clubs, it doesn't matter because neither of us have ever cared about that. We were always going to just have fun and have a great time. You know, and now there's this video circulating online of me having a damn good time and dancing and having fun like I usually do. I was with my agents, I was with my friends doing what I usually do, dancing with everybody that was with us, that wasn't with us, picking up strangers, dancing with them. That's what I do, that's what I'm known for. When people go out with me, that's what they expect Sean to do. And now that this video showing I'm having a good time, I'm obviously drunk, has completely ruined my life. When I did nothing wrong, and I did nothing to hurt anybody. You watch the video, I'm having a damn good time. What paints the picture of me hurting anybody or doing anything wrong? Nothing. You know, but because of this situation, my reputation is just being dragged through the mud. It's, it's not cool. It's not cool. And I'm not going to do that to anybody else because I'm not that person. I never have been that person and I'm not going to begin now. I don't care. And it was, pr and it's been pretty shitty. Like, you know, for somebody that supported me, you know, I, th I appreciate the messages because, you know, you actually care and it's nice. But for majority of you, it hasn't been that. It's been completely ripping me apart when you don't even know me. I'm a very positive person. I'm a person that likes to promote happiness, good energy, no matter what the hell is going on. That's what I was taught by my parents. That's the only way I know how to live. So I'm going to continue doing that. And I'm not going to stop. But for some of you that want to keep following me because you want to watch me rip apart somebody or expose somebody of what they say in this whole YouTube world or, you know, do something that's going to be hurtful to someone else, you might as well go to somebody else's channel because you're not going to get that from me. You're going to get the same stuff that I like putting out, telling stories about my experiences and doing what I love to do. That's what I'm going to do. You know, and throughout this whole thing, the reason why I get upset is because I've lost somebody I cared about so much and I would have done anything 
for. I would have done anything to keep this person happy because in my mind, that's all she deserved. And you know, this whole thing has spun way out of control and it's not fair for me. And it wasn't fair for her either, but at the same token, there's too much has gone down. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm getting upset, but you know, I wasn't able to jump right on here and make a video and defend myself because I heard too bad. So, um, again, for anybody that feelings were hurt through this or believe this, believe that, I'm sorry, but um, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I thank God every day that, that I've known Trisha because, you know, Trisha made me grow in so many different ways. And I feel I did the same for her. Um, I only wish her her best. I've only ever wished her her best. I only just wanted her to be okay. And, um, you know, if you're going to stick with me, stick with me. If you're not, so be it. You know, this whole, this whole YouTube world is new for me. It's not what I ever wanted to do. You know, and for some of you that say I'm a user and... I only did things because of fame. You guys don't know me. You don't know me. You know, I've had a pretty damn good career not being on YouTube or not being on social media. I've done amazing things. Um, amazing things. And, you know, I've been in the business for 15 years. So for you people saying that, you don't, you don't know shit and you don't know me. And maybe if you did get to know me, you wouldn't say that about me. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but um, thanks for you that have supported me and that have been there for me. And thanks for the messages. It means a lot. And um, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, no matter how hard it is, no matter what anybody says about me. I'm still going to keep doing what I'm doing because that's what I care about. <laughs> and um, that's it. So thanks for listening and thanks for taking the time to watch this.